This video is sponsored by Surfshark. That's a really gay thing to say. <laughs> hey, what's up? How are you? Okay, that's great. Anyway, today we're reacting to the live action Aladdin. Disney, Disney, live action movies. The things that no one asked for and yet we are subjected to. I haven't seen very many of these. I saw Cinderella when that came out and loved it so much. Went into Beauty and the Beast with like very high hopes. And I was so disappointed that I think I've just been jaded ever since and I haven't seen one since then. I just recently reacted to the live action Beauty and the Beast. So if you wanna go see that, I'll link it right up here just for you. Click it. By the way, I'm Hannah. If you want to find out more about me, follow me on TikTok and Instagram, at hannah.bales. You want to follow my second channel. Doesn't have any content yet, but it will soon. Probably, Daddy Hannah. You want to get a sweatshirt on sale? Check out my link below, merch. Get some of that. <laughs> get some of that merch. Anyway, moving on. Let's do this thing. This boat has seen us through many a storm. Will Smith, what are you doing? It has something there as never will. What, wood rod and rats? Got him. All right, sit, children. Oh my gosh, are we getting genie backstory? I think it's time that I told you the story of Aladdin, the princess. Wait, oh, this isn't genie backstory. This is genie future story. Epilogue. Come on down, stop on by, hop a carpet and fly to another Arabian night. I like that though. Oh my God, they changed the font of Disney. They never do that. I don't know why that just made me like itchy. That's wrong. You shouldn't do that. Disney can only ever be in that one font. <gasps> Guys, I just realized you can see my ring light in the frame of the camera. That's so embarrassing. This is real life, people. I'm not a profesh. Have I been doing this for almost three years? Yeah, what of it? I've almost been a full-time YouTuber for three years. That's so cute. Arabian Ooh, Will Smith sounds really good on that. What's your monkey's name? Abu. Uh. Monkey. Okay, Aladdin, a hunk and a half. Look at him. Abu, terrifying. Ugh, the face, it's so tiny. I know that he's supposed to be like a tiny monkey, but it's uncanny valley. The same thing I had to say about all of the CGI cups and household objects in Beauty and the Beast. I'm feeling that with him. I don't like it. I don't want to look at him. Your data is in danger. But Surfshark is here to help. Surfshark is a VPN, a virtual private network, and it keeps you safe online. It's basically an encrypted tunnel for your data. And that's important if you ever use public Wi-Fi networks like coffee shops, hotels, airplanes other places. I don't know where you do your work, but the thing is your internet provider can see everything you do online and then sell it. My data, that's mine. That's where Surfshark comes in. Surfshark doesn't store, track, or monitor anything you do online. So you're secure and protected. And one of their cooler features through their app or browser extension, you can mask your location and access different content that might not be available in your country. So just with a couple clicks, you can change your location and watch what you want to watch on streaming services like Netflix and YouTube. Oh, and Surfshark is the only VPN that allows unlimited devices on one account. What? Use my link below and enter code HANNAH for 83% off and an extra three months for free. Feels a little lackluster to me, actually. In the original, after he's been chased, he's clearly so hungry, right? And he has like that loaf of bread. And he has this moment where he sees the kids and he's like, ah, and he's so hungry, but he gives the bread to them. That felt a little bit like, ah. All right, these hungry, dirty kids can have this. It's not like communicating that Aladdin is starving. It doesn't It feel like it means as much. Here, take some bread. Jasmine, you are ridiculous. Thank you. OK, and an apple for your troubles. Nice. That was my, I'm not leaving without my bracelet. You mean this bracelet? That also feels a little lackluster. Like, first of all, Jasmine, you absolute idiot. You don't understand the exchange of currency. Why didn't you take your scarf off and say who you are? Okay. Second, it's so cute in the original where he's like, oh, this is my sister and she's crazy. And it, that was so cute. And she like played along. Oh man, that was just kind of a bummer. Is he gonna sing one jump? No, he's 
gonna do some really cool parkour. Oh my god, that was really cool. One jump ahead of the red line. Now he's one singing. Ahead of the sword. I steal only what I can't afford. And one hit ahead of the flock. I think Why I'll is take this some like around the block. Something about it is not sitting right with me. Like, it doesn't feel like the stakes are as high. Does that make sense? Like, it's not as exciting. It's not as, I don't know. It's just kind of like, meh. He does have a good voice. I think maybe what it is, is that it's very clear that he's not running very fast. <laughs> And like the guards are running at a cartoon's pace. It feels incongruous with the live action, these are real people. And like it looks so beautiful. It looks very realistic, like the set and where they are. It's just not matching up with this like silly little slow cartoon's pace. It's like half and half. They're just not really committing to the bit. Perhaps this diamond in the rough does not exist. Is that Jafar? In Beauty and the Beast, I said, if you want to stop making me root for the villain. You gotta stop making them attractive. Make them ugly, and then I won't root for them. What the heck is this? Oh, brother. <laughs> I also have to be real. <laughs> I read a book, a romance book a while back that was Jafar and Jasmine, and Aladdin was the villain. It's absolutely filthy. Please, if you are under 18, you, can't, you cannot read this, but. Maybe that's why <laughs> I immediately I'm like, oh, well, you know, he's handsome. Second is not enough, and it will never be enough. That's why I need them, and why I no longer need you. Oh, that is a deep well. How very convenient that we are 13 minutes into this movie, and the villain just told us everything. Everything about his motive and everything that he plans to do. What the heck? Is this where you live? Yep, just me and Abu. Come and go as we please. I would think after how scary all that parkour was and that chase from the police, she'd be like, okay, it's time for me to go home. You are quite the magician. Thank you. Yeah, wow. This is where he takes all his ladies. <laughs> Look at the draped fabric. It's so beautiful. So romantic. Aladdin, isn't it? Naomi Scott, she's so great. She was in Lemonade Mouth and I did a reaction to that. They find out there's so much more to me. I like him. I like him as Aladdin. He's got a good voice. He's so hunky. He's perfect. <laughs> He's got the like handsome, but like a little bit of boyish charm going on. Oh my gosh. That's so beautiful. A oh, white man. A white man? Why are there these white men here? I have been preparing for this my whole life. I have read books, but you cannot read experience. Inexperience is dangerous. All right, so Jafar, he's not terrible to look at, but he is creepy, okay? So before y'all get all weird and are like, Hannah, you absolute psychopath. Why are you always rooting for the villain? You're always attracted to the villain. Yeah, I do like enemies to lovers. Thank you for asking. But I am seeing the creepy, all right? I'm seeing it, he's creepy. The way he talks is weird. Jasmine is such a babe. Oh my God, look at her. And that pink dress, I'm obsessed. It's better for you to be seen and not heard. Oh, boo. Raja will literally bite your leg off and other things off if you're not careful. I can't stay silent. Don't they want to keep me quiet? I won't go speechless. Okay, okay, okay. I've heard this song before. I think like a million years ago at the beginning of my channel, I reacted to Anna Pansu singing that song. So I have heard this song before. I was thinking, I cannot believe they're having her sing this song already. Where's the character development? I like that they just had her sing a little piece of it. I liked that. Good job, Disney. What have you seen, Yago? Diamond in the rough. So they're looking for the diamond in the rough which they are saying is like a poor man. That's a really gay thing to say. <laughs> gay! I came back to return your bracelet. My bracelet? Where is it? On your wrist. <laughs> they really have made Aladdin into a common magician. He's like, 
Check your wrist. <laughs> Uh, Jasmine's wardrobe is insane. So beautiful. The cave of I want to see Jasmine in more pretty outfits. I don't want to see this part. Remember, take nothing but the lamp. I think he should have like made that a lot more serious. Take nothing but the lamp or you're cursed and you're going to die. Like it's really serious. And he's just like, okay, remember, just take the lamp. <laughs> The carpet! Whoa. Aw, uh, I like the carpet. They animated it the same way as the old carpet. Abu, keep your little monkey hands to yourself. Yeah, why did you even bring in Abu, honestly? Seems like a liability. Oh my. Hey, can the magic carpet help out a little bit? Abu. Don't you dare. <gasps> oh my god, this is terrifying. Oh my god, this takes the floor as lava to a whole new level. Oh my god, this was very stressful for me. <laughs> Abu took the lamp. I'm pretty sure that's in the original. I just forgot. Abu. All right, the thieving little monkey is okay, I guess. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh, great one who summons me. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that just made me cackle. Aladdin's like, huh? <laughs> oh, I'm so excited to see Will Smith's genie. Watch this. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is such a good song. Mr. Man, what's your name? Whatever, what will your pleasure be? Let me take your order, I'll chat it down. You ain't never had a friend like me. We pride ourselves on service. You the boss, the king, the shy. Some of this, like the way that he just said we pride ourselves on service, he used a funny voice, which I feel like the only reason he did that is because Robin Williams did a funny voice on that line. But there's no actual reason why he did that. Like, there's no motivation. Ooh, this is cool. All right, the the little like rap break that he just did. I'm not a fan of that. That seemed like a little contrived. I'm gonna have to shout out the YouTuber Sideways. He made a fantastic video on the music in these live action movies. He talked a little bit about the Beauty and the Beast music and he talked about Aladdin. And he explained this a lot better than I can. But this whole number, like so far of what I've seen from the genie, it's going back and forth between Will Smith being his iconic self and then also trying to do what Robin Williams did. I think so far, I like Will Smith as the genie. I think it works, but they could not be more different. And so that like that little rap break almost seems like an ode to Will Smith, but like not in the right way. Like that just seemed, I don't know. That just felt a little off. You guys should go watch Sideways video for a more eloquent description of why that felt off. Ooh, I like this part. Ooh, he sounds great. You ain't never had a friend like me. Good job, Will Smith. I thought that was great. <laughs> All right, Magic Carpet's my favorite character in this whole movie. You're kidding, right? The whole song was the, the instructions. All right, so I am getting this really weird kind of uncanny valley happening with Will Smith face and I am confused by it like almost his face looks a little CGI and I don't know why because I'm assuming they painted him blue and just like he's just supposed to be bigger here you know there's something strange going on in his face obviously you can't dance and listen at the same time neither can I carpet did you hear what this boy said why don't I set myself free <laughs> 
Only way a genie. <laughs> Seen that face before. Who is she? Who's the girl? <laughs> That's so cute. We had a connection. Did they? <laughs> I'm really loving all the chemistry, the banter between the carpet and the genie and Abu. This is so cute. Back up, boy. I need some room to work. I'm about to fabulize you. <laughs> I want the genie to fabulize me. And the crowd goes wild! I love it. And now for your entourage. What? Ooh, I'm so excited for this number. This movie is really beautiful. All the colors and everything is just gorgeous. I'm so glad they went so big for this. Oh my God, can we just look at Jasmine in all of her outfits? They're so beautiful. Prince Ali, fabulous, he, Ali, Ababwa. Show some respect, boy, can you flat down on one knee? Those Sounds so good. He's doing a great job. This movie is just so beautiful to look at. I love it. Listen to the ensemble. And that CGI elephant. Not bad. I'm impressed. Yay, Prince Ali. I would marry him for sure. Just that charming smile. It's uh, very expensive. And what do you hope to buy with this expensive? You. Oh, uh-oh. Are you suggesting I am for sale? Of course. <laughs> not, no. Aladdin, just stop talking. This offer will not be on the table for long, you see. So the guy who's playing Jafar, yes, he's not bad to look at, but he is doing a very good job at making himself so unappealing and creepy by his behavior. I'm not rooting for him anymore. I know. Look at me. I've changed. Oh, my God. <gasps> Jasmine looks so pretty. <laughs> look at her. Oh, my God. I'm going to cry. <laughs> she looks so beautiful. <laughs> I literally squealed. I was so excited. That wasn't me. It, it was me. I don't, I, it was me. I don't have a twin or anything, but uh, I, um, <laughs> Dance? I'd love to. He's being so awkward and it's so cute. I'm so excited for a whole new world. Now, when did you last let your heart decide? He has got such a great voice. He sounds like the original Aladdin. A whole new world, a place she I sounds so good. That gave me chills. I am speechless. No pun intended. <laughs> Let me share this whole new world with you. That's, those harmonies are gonna make me cry. Oh. A wondrous place for you and me. Oh my god! <laughs> my inner child. I'm literally crying because I loved that so much. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Oh, the nostalgia. It was so beautiful. Oh my God. I just remember watching this so much. I love Jasmine so much. That was just so great. Fabulous. Amazing. I loved it. Hello. I'm back. Had some technical difficulties yesterday. So we're back to finish the movie today. You'd rather lie to somebody you love than give all of this up. You don't get it, Jim. You know, the genie is quite on his high horse right now when he's the one who's like, hell yeah, I'll help you get the girl and you can pretend to be a prince. Now he's like, wow, you've really changed. You want to lie to someone you love. Sir, you were in on this plan from the beginning. I wish to be Sultan of Agrabah. What? Whoa. 
Whoa. I'd like to believe that the genie put on a little bit of a show or Jafar requested a little show because the genie could have just been like, okay, he didn't need all of that. But I love a good performance. Gods, remove her. It is so badass that Jasmine has a tiger as a best friend. Cinderella had mice. Rapunzel had a chameleon. And we love Pascal, okay? No shade to them. Jasmine has a mother effing tiger. That's so cool. Oh my god, Jasmine, here's your moment. Cause I, I cannot start to crumble. So come on and try. try a little growl. Yes, babe. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I have chills. I have chills. I have chills. We need to listen to that high note again. And her vibrato was so pretty. I also have to mention, do you notice how instead of seeing speech less on that high note, she actually sings speechless with more of an i vowel? So it's speechless. And that gives her so much control up there to add in that vibrato that's so pretty. Okay, she sounds fabulous i am seeing tension in her throat obviously we're watching the filming of this so she had already recorded the studio version when she was singing this but i do think that it's something to be aware of she's getting a tiny bit squeezy on the top this is a very difficult song very difficult i think most people would be squeezy on the top if they were singing this song it sounds fabulous but i am noticing that tension oh i love that Oh, the emotion is so good. I loved seeing that she had like tears in her eyes. That was very powerful. You seek glory for yourself and you would win it off the backs of my people. God, she's such a good Jasmine. I love her so much. I wish to become the most powerful sorcerer there is. He got a new outfit too. <laughs> I like that the genie does that because there doesn't need to be an outfit change with every wish granted, but he does that and adds a little extra flair. I like that. He's a man who knows fashion. I do not. Stop her! Oh my God, that was such a badass move. Rub the lamp. Oh my god, that's terrifying. Ah. Rub the lamp, rub the lamp! <gasps> no! You guys didn't even rub the lamp! Yes! Abu! Okay, maybe I like that little monkey. Oh my god, keep a fucking grip on the lamp! I'm so stressed. Most powerful being in the universe! Coming right up! Oh my god, his maniacal laugh. Ugh. And I thought I had power before! First, I'll lay waste to those fools in Sherabad. His voice now is so funny. Mark my words, I will not forget what you have done to me. Parrot, you're coming with me. <laughs> He's taking his parrot. Good. Aww. Is he a human now? I don't think that happened in the original, right? He stayed a genie. Does that mean I'm in trouble? Only because you got caught. Oh, so cute! Oh my god, her wedding dress! Oh my god, it's so beautiful, I'm gonna cry! 
Oh my god. God, this is just so beautiful. God, the ensemble can dance. You ain't never had a friend like me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. I did not expect to like that so much. Genuinely, I really liked that. I really liked that. I think it was too long, which is, seems to be a theme with the, the live action movies. They just add things so that they're too long. I thought Mena Masoud thought he was fantastic. Oh my God. Looked exactly like Aladdin, sang beautifully. Naomi Scott, Jasmine. Oh my God, it was so good. It was so good. Her voice was beautiful. The costumes were beautiful. She was just the perfect Jasmine. Oh my God. And Jafar, very scary, very creepy. Holy crap. I thought Will Smith did a pretty good job. I think Will Smith was a good choice for Genie. There were some points where I felt like he was really trying to be like Robin Williams instead of maybe just pay tribute to his performance and just really make the Genie his own character. But that being said, I thought that he was fantastic too. I also really like that the genie was like a human at the end. I don't think we needed the beginning part where they were on a boat and he was like, have I ever told you the story of Aladdin? It was such a long movie that I forgot that that was at the beginning by the end. So I don't think we really needed that. The costumes were so beautiful. Oh my God. This whole movie was just genuinely gorgeous to look at. Just so pretty. I had such a great time watching that. That was so fun. Oh my God. We didn't get to see Jasmine in her like, <laughs> like red slave Leia, slave Jasmine costume, which is fine because we don't need to hypersexualize Jasmine, but I did really want to see her in another costume. <laughs> She did have a lot of costumes, which I appreciated. But I just needed her to have like an entire, like, could you imagine a makeover montage in this movie with Jasmine's wardrobe? I would watch an entire movie of just Jasmine trying on different outfits because she looked so pretty. Thanks again to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Use my link below and enter promo code Hannah for 83% off and three extra months for free. What do you guys think? Should I watch the other Disney live action movies? What should I watch next? Lion King? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to check out my merch store. We're having a sale in the month of February a sale on a sale like super crazy great sale so check that out follow me on tiktok and instagram at hannah.bales and find me on patreon patreon.com slash hannah bales okay bye <laughs>